my file, and this is going to take a progress parameter. And then here we're going to say data data file dot find. Okay, so we're looking for the progress class, which is going to be generated with our JavaScript. We'll create that in a minute. And we're going to say dot width. And then we're going to put in our progress variable. So that's basically it for the file drop API. All right, so now we want to break out of that. And we're going to create our template markup. All right, and we're going to store it all inside of a variable called template. And basically, this is going to include uh, when we created our CSS, we have, for instance, uh, the preview class we styled, uh, image holder uploaded, and you can see that we don't have any of those classes in our HTML. We're going to create a variable with that markup. Okay, so for template, I'm going to say div class. And we're going to set this to preview. And let's see, we're just going to we're just going to um, we'll just go line by line, and we'll just concatenate each line with a plus symbol. All right, and then we're going to have a span with the class name. Actually, we need our, our quotes, single quotes here. So a span with the class name of image holder okay so for the next line we're just gonna put an empty image tag here because it's gonna be filled dynamically okay so let's indent that go to the next line the next line is going to be our closing span tag. And I just want to line these up correctly. All right, so after the closing span tag, we're going to add another div and call it progress holder, which will basically hold our progress bar. Oops, I forgot a less than for div. All right, and then inside of here, we're going to create another div with the class of progress. And we're, we're also going to include the closing div as well. Okay, let's close this. And one more. All right, so that's good. All right, so that's where all that markup is going to come from. Now, underneath that, underneath our template variable, we're going to create the create image function. And that's going to take our file as a parameter. And actually, we have to say function. All right, so let's initialize a variable called preview. And that's going to be set to, um, that's going to be set to the template. All right, now we want another variable called image, which will be set image and then preview. Now the, the purpose of this create image basically is to get a data URL of the image um, and then add it as the source of the image. OK, 
okay so of this right here this blank image holder all right so we're going to use the file reader API for that so we need to create a, another variable and we're just going to call this reader and set it to new file reader okay so we're going to use the file reader API I'm going to set some options we're going to say image dot width and for now we'll just set this to a hundred and then image dot height set to a hundred as well and then we can use that reader object okay we'll say reader dot on load equals function passing an event parameter So basically we're going to dynamically add the source for the image. So image dot attribute and the attribute that we want to add is the source, so src. And then for the data URL we can use e dot target dot result. Okay, so that'll be the data URL that we pass in. And then reader dot read as data URL. Pass in the file. So this is gonna uh, read the data as URL, and when this is finishing, when this is finished, it's gonna trigger the onload function. Okay, which is right here, which will create the source. Uh, and then what we want to do is we're going to say back dot hide. Okay, so we're doing this because when we upload an image, we don't want this drag and drop and, and camera icon. We don't want that to show because that'll look all um, just messed up. And this should actually be a K. Okay, so we'll hide that. And then we're going to say preview um, dot append to pick box all right so we're going to add it to that pick box div and we're going to use jQuery's data function to associate a preview uh, the preview container with the file so data and we're going to pass in file and preview all right so that's it for the create image function now we have one more small function and that's just to show a message um, so show message and this is just gonna we'll say message actually we want to say back because that's the ID, that's the class we've used up here is back. So back.html and we'll just fill it with a message. All right, so that's it for the JavaScript, not too bad. We most likely will have to do some debugging, so let's save it and just see what happens. All right, so we're getting this unexpected token error on line 16, which is, um, hmm. All right, so it looks like I put this colon here and it's not supposed to be. So let's get rid of these. All right, the default is supposed to be there um, all right so let's save that stupid mistake okay so that seems to be fixed but now we're getting this undefined is not a function on line five okay so the actual API pickbox dot file drop let's make sure that 
it's reading the actual file drop JavaScript file. So if we go to source and then click on file drop, seems to be okay. Alright guys, so I paused the video and was looking for an issue inside our JavaScript file and it's not there. Uh, there's nothing that I can tell is wrong. So I went and looked at our structure and I looked at, let me just open it up, we'll go to um, htdocs, uh, dd uploader and this file drop uh, file is actually the wrong file okay so if I open this up uh, you can see that it says HTML5 in legacy file upload uh, this is this just is not the right file so what we need to do is get the right one alright so if we search for jQuery file drop. Now the first one that pops up is actually the GitHub repository so we're gonna get that, click on that and we want this jQuery.filedrop.js so let's actually download the zip. Alright so we want this file here so let's let's just copy that and bring it to our structure All right and I'm going to delete this file drop.js alright now let's go into our index file and just change this to jQuery dot file drop alright so let's try this again actually I'll leave that open just to see if we get any errors reload no errors now this isn't going to go to the full this isn't going to upload to our folder yet um, so let's just see what happens alright so you can see that it did actually get put into the box um, nothing's happening because we don't have our PHP set up let me actually see alright yeah so that that's fine um, array buffer is depreciated alright so it looks fine up to this point obviously we can't test it fully until we do the PHP so we will get into that in the next video